Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, the Silver Fox. And imagine you've spent a lot of money, let's say £30, to go and see a comedian who you know uses somewhat explicit language, imagery, visuals, uh, somewhat outré and recherché in his humour. The double entendre, the triple entendre. Then you know exactly what you're getting into. But imagine you're one of those humourless, joyless wokesters who's paid his money and sat in the audience and a joke comes up that you don't like and you find offensive. What do you do? Well, if it's truly that bad, you get up and walk out. However, if you're truly joyless and friendless, well, what you do is you get up and you walk out and find a policeman and report it because you're one of life's losers. Let's have a look at this. So uh, this is Joe Lysett, um, youngish comedian, been around a while. Um, I don't find anything he says to be particularly offensive. Um, I wouldn't pay to see him, but you know, he's not, I've laughed at a few things. I don't mind him so much. He's in that uh, sort of that camp comedian style of say, Larry Grayson, Frankie Howard, that sort of thing. Um, anyway, he's doing a show and uh, an audience member was so outraged that they went and reported it to the police because they're joyless. Anyway, let's look at this article here. Comedian investigated by police after audience member offended by a joke. Now, the whole point of humour, of course, is to be offensive, is to hold a mirror up to the ridiculousness of life. Um, and if you remove that ability, you remove all humour and you become joyless as a society. But then that's what these woke lot want. They don't want... They hate the idea of someone somewhere being happy. Anyway, British comedian Joe Lysett has reported that the police were called on him after an audience member at a show found one of his jokes offensive. Lysett described the situation on social media, including the use of the phrase that was found offensive. We're including the specific tweet below, so use caution if you think you might find yourself offended by salty comedic language. Trust me, you won't. There's nothing there. If you watch my videos, you've heard worse. Joe Lysett did not specifically say which show are an ongoing more, 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 how do you like it, how do you like it tour, but the police had been in contact and they now considered the matter closed. Uh, and here's the tweet. So, someone came to my tour show a few weeks ago uh, and was offended by one of the jokes. Uh, and they were perfectly understandable. The response to this was to call the effing police. To be fair to them, the fuzz were very nice about it, uh, but they felt they had a duty to investigate. This involved me writing a statement explaining the context of the joke for them, and I particularly enjoyed putting the words giant donkey dick into a message to a police detective. Charmed and hopefully amused, the Rosers have since closed the matter, and you'll be pleased to know that the joke, which I consider to be one of my best I've ever written, remains firmly and proudly in the show. The tour continues until September, unless I'm jailed. Well done, Joe. I like that. So, Lysett maintained a jovial tone in the description of the event, in which an audience member at the comedy show found comedy offensive to the point of involving law enforcement. Uh, now, when you have to go to the police because of offensive jokes, you really are a Billy No Life, aren't you? Uh, you should get out more. Um, you, you've not lived your life. Fail to launch, I think the term is. Um, and it is quite bizarre that you would do this. There is something mentally wrong with you if you need to go to the police to report a joke. You are moron. Um, and then that's it. I'm not going to go on. There's very little else there. But um, it is just ridiculous. Anyway, I shall come up and round off the, the, uh, the video. I mean, who pays good money to go and watch that show? And he gets up and leaves, crying, tears. Oh, the man said a terrible joke. Ah, crikey. It just shows the world we are moving into. 
these people are supposedly going to be the future. We're finished as a species, aren't we? We are absolutely finished. These people are horrendous. I fear for the future. Anyway, I shall round off there. If you like what you hear and see on the channel, please hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Ring the bell for notifications of future output. Leave a like, leave a comment, and until next time, stay safe, stay well, and goodbye.